Hi guys, welcome back to another day in the life. And try to guess where I am. Ready? Three, two, one. To the dentist. <laughs> Might as well just move in at this point. No, um, this should be fingers crossed. Sorry, my camera is like rocking back and forth. There we go. Um, fingers crossed. This is my last filling appointment. So they actually called me yesterday. I the appointment was an hour. They called me yesterday to see if I could extend the appointment so that she could do, I think, a couple other fillings. I don't know. All I know is that fingers crossed. This is the last appointment, the last filling appointment and my next two dentist appointments i'm coming back next friday um and then i have an appointment in december and both of those are for my gums so fingers crossed we can be done with my teeth <laughs> and all the work can just be over that would be great and then so that it's 7 50 now hopefully i'm out by like 9 30 because then I have a haircut appointment at 11 and I can't even say it's like on the other side of town. It's in like a completely different town, pretty far away. <laughs> so I'm gonna need that time to get over there. Um, and I'm so excited because my hair is just, it's been a really long time since I had it cut. Oh my gosh, so much shedding. Um, it's been a really long time since I've had it cut and I really just wanna like chop it all off. I'm not gonna go short short, but this is just not, this is not gonna do it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm also gonna get a glaze done. So they will like, I don't know, whatever a glaze does, I think it like tempers the color a little bit. <laughs> My hairstylist friends don't come for me, I'm sorry. Anyway, that is the plan. I am hoping that everything goes well in this appointment. I am sure it will. Um, and that's it. Let's go in and finally be done with these teeth. Hi friends, so Jeff just sent me the cutest pictures. I'm so telling you, okay. I'm so sad because today is picture day at Hugo's school and I am missing it. <laughs> I miss drop off and I'm gonna miss pick up, but I did pick out Hugo's outfit. Jeff sent me pictures, he looks so cute and I'm so, so, so excited for him. So excited um, and Jeff said that they like, um, him and Hugo put on coordinating outfits this morning. <laughs> so cute. Not that it matters. Like Jeff's not getting his pictures taken, but they looked so cute. And I know yesterday when I tried on the little button up on Hugo to make sure it fit, when I put it on him, he said, oh, "I look just like Daddy." Isn't that so cute? So there's like a pretty big glare here. Um. So yeah, I can't wait to get those pictures back, and I'm sure. It's gonna be wonderful. And I already told Jeff, I'm like, I'm ordering everything. I'm ordering wallet size, I'm ordering portrait size, I'm ordering mouse pads, I'm ordering magnets, <laughs> I'm ordering keychains, I'm ordering banners, like I'm ordering car wraps, so whatever they sell, I'm ordering it. Let's talk about my tooth. So they numbed it. The, the work that they did today was on the tooth that had a silver filling in it that had broken off months ago. And that was like the tooth, that was one of the teeth that like put me over the edge I was like I need to go to the dentist um because I had a feeling that like it wasn't going to be good so what she ended up doing was she took the silver filling out she so that there was a cavity behind the filling we love and she was able to drill it out and then refill it she did say though that the cavity and the filling like everything was pretty extensive and she said that for now the filling should be enough to like keep the tooth together but if it chips or she said that probably there will come a time where, where I'll need a crown on it that the filling won't be enough to hold the tooth together so that day wasn't today which is good I got like so nervous because halfway through the appointment I heard something about an x-ray and you know they like talk in code and so I was like oh my god are they gonna have to do that today one annoying thing is that I have to come back like no joke I might have to come back because there is a small filling on the bottom that needs to get done I think that originally they were hoping they could do it today but with all the work that had to happen up here they just ran out of time which is so annoying so 
I still have one more filling appointment. I am, I made the appointment for next week. Luckily, my in-laws are coming in next week, which is going to be so fun. Um, but I was able to make it for a day where they can, oh my gosh, there's a beautiful blue jay. Um, I can make it, I made it for a day where they'll be here and they can watch the boys. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, it doesn't have to, Jeff doesn't have to take away from work or like we don't have to coordinate it on a day where he's not working. So anyway. And like next week is so busy and um, we, our insurance is changing after this month to a different insurance. So it's be like, I just want to get, we just want to get everything done like within the same insurance if possible. <laughs> anyway, okay. So it's, it's 9.34, this is perfect timing. I'm gonna drive over to the hair salon now. I'm actually gonna stop at the bank first, um, get some cash out for um, the tip and then we're gonna go and we're gonna freaking get this haircut <laughs> I did have a, like a little gig on myself while I was Getting the dental work done i um, thinking to myself like okay. This is uncomfortable, but it's not terrible You know, it's worse <laughs> Getting your hair brushed after you've gotten it done like after you had your hair washed and shampooed in the bowl And then they have you sit up and then they go to brush your hair That pain is like <laughs> I remember thinking to myself. Wow. This is like as bad as childbirth this is pretty awful not always but the girl that freaking brushed my hair the last time oh my gosh like she might as well have just like pulled all my hair out of my head all right let's go so freaking bummer i just got a phone call from the hair salon and the woman who does my hair has to reschedule um so boo um yeah so yeah they they had said like oh you can still come in today and get a glaze or a haircut with someone else but i've had my hair done too many times <laughs> and i know like once you find someone you like just stick with them because in the long run it's just better and so i made an appointment i rescheduled with her in two weeks so then i was like oh i might as well call back the dentist and see if they can see me today like they said it was just gonna be a quick appointment, um, just like a half hour, but they don't have any availability today. So, boo. All right, I am, I'm, I just like pulled over into a parking lot. I am going to text Jeff and let him know that I'm not going to get my hair done. And I'll ask him if he would rather I just stay out and then pick up Hugo at 11.30, or if he would, rather go pick him up i don't know i'll we'll call him and figure all that out boo really honestly i'm not even that upset about my hair i'm more annoyed that like i couldn't just get in and see the dead because like it's one little filling apparently and so it would have been like so great if i could have just gotten it done today but that's okay what's meant to be will be let me call jeff okay so i'm gonna stay out and then do the pickup because that makes the most sense um, and I'm sort of at a loss of what to do with myself <laughs> But I think I'm gonna go to Christmas tree shop. I'm interested to see if they have any Christmas stuff out Also, I still need to pick up um, a bunch of party decorations for Theodore's first birthday party um, So maybe they'll have something there to look at. I don't know. It's like a time waster, you know So that's where I'm gonna go. Quite the mix of Thanksgiving, Halloween, and fall I found more Christmas. Oh, look, they have those Christmas trees that Target had last year, but a blue one. Cute. Someone just texted me. Oh. Can you hear that Definitely. for sure? I don't know if it's just me. Oh my gosh, what is Candy happening? Shelton Hold on, sorry. Sure reminds me. <laughs> I'm, li the ah, I'm listening to the Lights Out podcast by Josh from Mile Higher. And I don't normally indulge in like really scary content for my anxiety <laughs> and a myriad of other reasons. But I thought, you know, it's almost Halloween. Tis the season. Um, so my mind, like, I was really excited to see all that Christmas stuff, right? 
I didn't see anything that like I really really loved but it's I mean obviously they're still unpacking stuff like it's that crazy time of year where it's like 80 degrees out but it's almost Halloween <laughs> But, you know, like retail stores are always trying to stay one step ahead. So, like, they've got Halloween stuff crammed with Christmas stuff, crammed with Hanukkah stuff, crammed with Thanksgiving. So, like, all the holidays are just kind of, like, all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I didn't see any Christmas stuff that I really loved, which was fine. Um, and then I had this realization that, like, freaked me out that I'm pretty sure we are hosting Thanksgiving this year. And it really may only turn out to be like us and my parents But even so I don't have anything for Thanksgiving like oh, Do we even have a platter we have a platter, but it's a very like summery platter So I have nothing for the holiday <laughs> So I texted my mom and told her um, that we need to come here tomorrow tomorrow her and I are going um, after I work we're gonna Do a little shopping um, because I need to pick up stuff for Theodore's birthday um, and then stuff for Thanksgiving all of a sudden. I'm like, duh. And I want to get like little platters and Christmas Tree Shop is so great for that because a lot of their stuff, I mean, so their Thanksgiving stuff was really, really cute and I was like this close to grabbing a cart. I think if I had had a cart, I would have filled it, but I didn't. Probably a good thing. Um, but they have really cute stuff for Thanksgiving and it's really inexpensive. So we'll come back here tomorrow. I'll show you what I did end up getting. I got some of these window clings. They were a dollar each. And I ended up accidentally getting three. I meant to only get two, but it's fine. Um, the two that I ended up getting were these two pumpkin ones, which is great because these are really big. So I don't have to be nervous about Theodore choking on them. And they're pretty cute. They have like little glitter on them. I thought Hugo would really enjoy putting these up on the window today. And then this was just like a fun one of different characters and stuff so I picked that up and then I grabbed this for Hugo it can be a stocking stuffer it's a little like dinosaur Jurassic World reading book but the cool thing is it comes with cards <laughs> the cards you can pull out so yeah I think he'll really love this he loves anything dinosaurs then I so this was two dollars and I was like I'll get one thing for Thanksgiving today just so you know as a reminder, like a gentle reminder that I need to come back. I just thought this was cute. Again, two, two bucks, you know. <laughs> so, um, and then I also just grabbed a box of disposable black masks because this would be good for me to have in the car. And that's it. So I am going to, it's 10.30 now, I'm going to drive over to Hugo's school and then I'll just sit, you know, I'll just sit and chill in the car and I can't wait to see him, I can't wait to ask him how school picture day was, it's going to be so, so great. My mouth is still numb also, which is why I'm like, talking out of one side of my mouth, but it feels good. We're home. Yes, honey? He goes eating a snack before I put him down for a nap. Can I just say, so at the end of every week, I completely clean out Hugo's backpack. And it is one of my favorite things. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's like the, one of the secret joys of motherhood is my favorite thing to like completely clear it out. And then Monday, like, you know, put a new water bottle in. Um, it's a little after 2.30. Theo and Hugo um, woke up from their naps. Theo woke up at like one and Hugo just woke up. We're just hanging. Hey, right, bunny. Theo says, I have so much energy because I'm one, almost one. I don't know if you can hear, but Hugo is singing in the bathtub. He sings Baba Black Sheep and it is the cutest thing ever. So cute. Anyway, it's freaking six o'clock and I came on here to finish this vlog. Um, honestly, when I got home, we just went into like normal everyday mode and it's a lot of managing the boys when Jeff is working from home, trying to give like Jeff some quiet and some space. So that was like most of the afternoon. 
and now it's bath time and both the boys are taking a bath and that'll be the end of the night so thank you guys so much for watching um i will vlog on monday and then really exciting my in-laws i feel like i have something on my face my in-laws are coming next week did i mention that i can't remember they're coming next week and yeah i'll see you guys soon love you bye